Come on, let's declare that even right now, Lord. Your kingdom come in my life. Your kingdom come in my home. Your kingdom come in my family. Your kingdom come, Lord God. And your will be done in me. Lord, take us to deep, deep places in you. Come on, somebody. Give God glory today. Uh, this is a new day. We thank God for you this, this morning. This is January 17th, 2021. And uh, it, we're so good to, it's so, we're so glad to have you with us today at Kingdom Empowerment Center, worshiping with us. And uh, that's our prayer today, that Lord's kingdom would come and his will would be done. We've been preaching since the beginning of the year that our theme for 2021 is kingdom first. Kingdom first has, has been our theme. And our foundational scripture is Matthew chapter 6. And verse 33, Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33. And it says, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added to you. That is our foundational scripture uh, for the year. I want you to take this scripture. I want you to read Matthew 6 over. The, all of it. And I want you to take this scripture. I want you to take some time to even meditate on it, pray about it. I want you to memorize the scripture, take time and learn it, but seek first. And I'm, I want to seek first. Last week, we told you about seeking first. And, and, and that meant seek means to go after, to desire, to worship, to inquire, to be about, uh, to go in search of, to discover, to seek. And, and first means in time, in place, in order, or importance, and, and, and we told you, when are we to seek first? We're to seek first. We're to seek early. That means early in the morning. Seek God early in the morning, early in time, but also early in place. As far as before you start any activities, before you start a new job, before we even told you, before you start, go, before you start dating, before you go on a date, you should seek the Lord. And, and you seek God first in everything. Before you buy any purchase, seek God first. First, and so we told you how we to seek. Uh, it was in um, Jeremiah twenty nine and thirteen. We're to search for. We're to seek. Uh, the, the The word says, "Seek me, and you'll find me when you search with me. Search for me with all of your heart." We're to seek God with all of our hearts because it's all about our hearts. Our priorities are a matter of the heart because where your treasure is, that's where your heart is. And so we dealt with that. We dealt with also why we seek. We gave you different things about. Uh, we'll be revived when we seek. We'll be liberated. We'll get deliverance when we seek God. There's a reward. Lord, when we seek, we even told you that you'll understand justice when you seek the Lord. That because the, the scripture says, I, I, I had never really seen this, Proverbs 29 and 5, that evil men do not understand justice, but those who seek the Lord understand it. And so we, we talk, there's a, there's a benefit to seeking the Lord. There's a benefit. This is why we seek the Lord. You get rest when you seek the Lord. And so we told you about this purpose that we want to seek first. That was last week. Seek first. So today, today, uh, I want to preach. My title today is The Kingdom Way. Somebody write The Kingdom Way. The Kingdom Way uh, is, is the title for today. The, the Kingdom Way. H have you ever had uh, like good mac and cheese? <laughs> Who doesn't like mac and cheese? Well, I know that some of you probably don't, but I like a good mac and cheese. And I, I've recognized something, I realized something that um, people make mac and cheese many different ways, many different ways. If you Google recipes for mac and cheese or uh, different ways to make mac and cheese, you're going you're gonna to find probably over 30, 40, you know, tons of different ways to make mac and cheese. But even though there are different ways to make mac and cheese, you know, like there's my way I make mac and cheese, <laughs> okay? There's Lorraine's way. And I like Lorraine's way. Not saying, and I've had people's mac and cheese and some people's mac and cheese. I'm like, okay, yeah, that's, that's pretty, that's different. That's different. Cause, Cause people got a way to doing things. 
right? We got a way to how we clean. So everybody doesn't clean like how you clean. And it can start arguments because somebody doesn't clean your way. Well, I hope y'all hear me. All right. But so in, in what we're going to get down to and talking about the kingdom way. All right. The same way there's different ways to make mac and cheese. There's there's a there, there to me, there's a right way. There's a Lorraine way. <laughs> to make mac and cheese. There's a Lorraine way of, you know, because I'm just like, yeah, it's like, you know, I love bread pudding. I do not eat anybody else's bread pudding except mine because there's a way, because I know how bread pudding is made. So I'm like, no, nah, I'm not touching anybody's bread pudding. No, nah, I'm, not, nah, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. But so, and, and so I want to preach today the kingdom way. And, and, and I, it's going to be simple. Because that's my word for 2021, not just kingdom first, but simple. Sometimes we make things so complicated and difficult that I recognize something that when Jesus showed up on the earth, when you read the gospels, Jesus was simple. He taught so that even they said, it, uh, studies say that even a third grader, second grader could understand what Jesus was teaching. He taught so simple. It was deep, but simple. When he came to the earth, he didn't preach, the, he didn't preach religion. He didn't preach denomination. He didn't preach the tradition of man. He didn't preach politics. He preached and he demonstrated the kingdom way. He preached kingdom. All he did was kingdom. People think, oh, he preached church. No, he only talked about, he only really mentioned the church twice, but he mentioned kingdom numerous times. If you study the gospels, he mentioned kingdom because he says, I need you to know there is a kingdom way. And when if you become a kingdom citizen, you need to understand the kingdom way. You can't come in, you can't be a part of the kingdom of God and do your own thing. Let me tell you something right now. And because this is what's going on in our country. You can't, uh, I know we want a democracy, but in the kingdom, there is not a democracy. Ah. In the kingdom of God, there is no democracy. You can't tell God, well, God, I want to do it this way. I want to do it. He can tell you, okay, go ahead and do it, but I'm not with you. It's not a democracy. It's, it's the kingdom way. This is what all this, you know, and, and that's why Jesus didn't preach. He didn't preach a, a Republican way. He didn't preach a, a, a political way. He preached kingdom. He wasn't preaching that people would join his party. He preached, no, join the kingdom way. Join the kingdom. You've got to understand that. It's all this fighting that's going on. And yeah, right now it's not a racial uh, a fight. It, it's, a, it's a fight, as we would say, yeah, it's a fight for democracy. It's a fight for, for people's right of way, for people's, you know, yeah, we have the freedom of speech. We can do whatever we want to do. We can say whatever we want to say. Not really. Let's be honest. Not really. You cannot do whatever you want to do and get away with it, even though, and that's what, that's what people are getting so riled up and so upset because people feel, people are getting upset because somebody's telling them you need to wear a mask. Why, I gotta, why you got to tell me I'm my own boss. I'm my own king. Nobody should tell me I need to wear a mask. I don't, shouldn't have to wear nobody's mask. I can do whatever I want to do. But there's a kingdom way. So let, let me give you some things. I'm going to give you three things. I'm done today. Three things. Number one, kingdom perspective. We got to have kingdom perspective. And kingdom perspective has to do with our view and our outlook. How do we get kingdom perspective? Uh, the scripture says in Matthew chapter 4, and verse 17, take these scriptures down. I told you, get, get ready. Get, get a pen and, and, and some paper. Get, get, your, get your iPad. Get a tablet, whatever. Write these scriptures down. All right, be engaged just because you home, you know, wherever you're sitting in your car, listening to this or whatever, you're on the phone, be engaged, be engaged, be engaged because it's the kingdom way, okay? Come on, you because a kingdom perspective is to have a view, an outlook. What's our view? What's our outlook? Matthew 4 and 17 says, from that time that Jesus, after he was uh, tempted of the enemy, Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent for the kingdom 
The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent. That word repent means to change the way you think. Uh, it's a new way of thinking. I want you to think differently. That's what Jesus was saying, think differently. Before I came, before Jesus says, before I showed up, you were busy fighting the Romans and, and, and the Romans had control and you were thinking because, you know, well, the Romans are in charge and, 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 and we don't have our democracy. We can't do whatever we want to do. And, and they're telling us what to do. They're telling us that we ought to pay a tithe to Caesar. They're telling us that we've got to pay taxes and we don't want to do that. And we don't, they're, they're trying to limit us and they're trying to take us to wear a mask. They're trying to tell us we can't, uh, we got a social distance that we can't hang and that we can only have so many people in our homes and, and we don't want to live like that. And Jesus said, look, I come and I want you to think differently. I want you to have a kingdom perspective. Stop looking and, and stop trying to think that these people are, are trying to, to put a bondage on you and everything. Do unto Caesar what is Caesar. So if Caesar asks for a tax, give you got to pay taxes. I don't know anybody who doesn't have to pay taxes. We got to think differently. We are part of the kingdom. We've got to have a kingdom perspective. We can't be looking at things uh, 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 in our own viewpoint. When things happen, whose viewpoint do you take? Do you look at it from a kingdom perspective or do you look at it from your own perspective? Do you look at it from a world uh, uh, view uh, perspective? Or do you look at it from an American perspective? It's not even about being American. It's not being about being from a different country. It's about being from the kingdom of God and having a kingdom perspective, a kingdom view and a kingdom outlook. That's why you remember when they, they brought the woman who was caught in adultery, they brought him to Jesus and said, she ought to be stoned. That was the law. The law said that, that she ought to be stoned. And, and Jesus took his, his finger and, and he wrote, and, 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 and he wrote, says, he who is without sin uh, cast the first stone. And when he looked up and he said to the woman, where are your accusers now? And there was no one standing there and, and everyone was gone. And, and so he, was, he did say to her though, go and sin no more. He, he had a kingdom perspective because uh, he basically could have, he, he could have accused her. He could have stoned her because that was the law. But he says, no, I need you to have a kingdom perspective, a kingdom view, a kingdom outlook. I, I, I need you to look at things, not from the perspective of always being from the law, but look at it from the kingdom. What is the kingdom of God saying? What does God say about this matter? What, what, because God is the king and the word of the king stands. So whatever the king says goes. Hear me, in a kingdom, whatever the king says is the law. Y'all getting this today? It's the king. If the king dictates something, that's, what's, that's what happens. That's, that's the law. So this king, Jesus says, look, okay, yeah, she might have did some wrong, but you all are trying to, you know, you all want to stone her and, 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 and shame her. But look at your own closet. I want you to look in your own lives. Have you done anything? And nobody was there when, and he says, women, wh wh lady, where's your accusers now? Where's those who, and, and, and so she was like, wow, what kind of man is this? What, that, that didn't stomp on me and, and, and didn't beat me down when I was already uh, going through something. No, he had a kingdom perspective and God is saying, I need you to seek first the kingdom of God. And when you seek first the kingdom of God, you will have a kingdom perspective. So when you go to God first, you're going to God, God, what is your perspective on this? What does your word say about this? What, what, what does the word say? How should I handle myself in this situation, God? What is the kingdom perspective? What is the view that I should get? What should I, that I should take in this particular matter? Is somebody hearing me today? What is God saying? Because the word of the king is final. Come on, somebody. We need a kingdom perspective, kingdom view, kingdom outlook, kingdom mindset, kingdom thinking. It's kingdom. We don't operate like everybody else because we are part of a kingdom.
Oh, I need, I need somebody to hear me today. We've gotten away from it. We've gotten so political. The church right now is, is fighting it and, and, and at war because we have lost our, we have lost, I was about to say our, our minds, because we, 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 because we have lost our kingdom perspective and we have become political and not kingdom. When I heard, when I, I heard a preacher the other day and, and it made the news too, and, and he was cursing people and, and cursing those and, and, and saying those who stole this election, let them be cursed, let sickness hit them, let poverty hit them, let them ache in their bodies. I said, the devil is a liar. That is not a kingdom perspective. That's a lie from the pit of hell. We're supposed to bless those who curse us. We're supposed to, you know, uh, the, the, the Bible says those who, who persecute you and, and, and and talk all manner of evil. You're supposed to bless them. You're not supposed to curse them. Bless them. You're supposed to love your enemies. You're supposed to forgive. We're supposed to have a kingdom perspective, people. A kingdom view, a kingdom outlook. That's what I really believe that's happening with this whole, the virus, and not just this virus right now. We're in a, we're in a, so uh, the, the, the country is in an upheaval because God is exposing the hearts, not just the hearts of people in this country, but God is exposing the hearts of people in the church because God is trying to say, look, you all the same, you calling my name, but you don't have a kingdom perspective. Many people, and Jesus said, many people are going to call my name in that last days when they get to heaven and say, Lord, I preached in your name. I cast out devils in your name. I prophesied in your name. And God is going to say, I don't know you because you didn't have a kingdom perspective. You didn't do it the kingdom way. You did it your own way. You and you put my name to it, but, but you were lying because I wasn't nowhere a part of that. Oh, somebody better hear me today. We do a lot of things and, and we put God's name to it. And God said, don't, you, don't attach my name to that because that is not the kingdom perspective. That's your own perspective. Just, just be honest and just say, that's your viewpoint. That's your stance. That is not my stance. I heard, uh, oh, let me not get, oh, Lord, let me, but I'll give you, I heard uh, there was this prophet who had prophesied that President Trump was going to uh, be president again for a second term. And he came out and he wrote this letter and he apologized that he was wrong and, um, and he got it wrong. Shared that, you know, a lot of some of his stuff got in the way and that he heard wrong. Don't you know? He says he's never, he's gotten death threats. Now, hear me, death threats. He says, I've never received such hateful and vulgar letters and emails from people who say they are Christians. People calling him a traitor, telling him he's a sellout, telling him he betrayed the Holy Spirit because he, of humility, he was honest to say, I missed it. I got it wrong. I didn't hear right. And, and I, please forgive me. And people are now, I mean, he says him and his family from believers, from Christians. What has happened to us? We Because we are not walking in the kingdom way. We've lost kingdom perspective. My God have mercy on us today. And that's why God, is, I really believe God is allowing many of these things to happen because he's shaking us because he said judgment first is coming to the house of God. And God is saying, look, I need the people of God because see the gates of hell will not prevail against God's church. The church is, will be triumphant. But God says, you got to realize something here. Many people are out here saying my name, but I'm not in it. You imagine Christians persecuting this man because he admitted I'm wrong. And usually we're begging people to admit they're wrong. We usually beg people to say, I'm sorry, I did wrong. And this man says I'm wrong. And he's getting persecuted for admitting he was wrong and apologizing. Why? Because we have lost 
our kingdom way. We got to repent. We got to turn back to God and say, Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, I, how have I been looking at things? How have I been viewing things? Have I been viewing it from a biblical perspective? Have I been looking at, 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 at the world, even the in, in the, the current president, he's still president. I still got to pray for him because he's he's not out of office until January 20th. He is still president. Says still pray, still pray for those who are in office, those who have rulership over us, those who are in government, authority over us. We're supposed to pray for them. Lord, whether, it doesn't say whether we like them or not, whether we agree with them or not. Kingdom perspective, folks. Second thing, I hope y'all are hearing this. Are you gonna have a kingdom perspective? Do you want a kingdom perspective? Do you want a kingdom view, a kingdom outlook? I want you to write that in the chat. If you're viewing this, I want you to write kingdom perspective. Kingdom, I want you to write, I want a kingdom perspective. I want a kingdom perspective. Come on, write that, declare that. I want a kingdom perspective. Declare it in the chat. I want a kingdom perspective. I want to have a kingdom perspective, kingdom outlook, a kingdom view. 2021, Lord, I repent for how I viewed things, how I viewed people and looked at people with my lens, not kingdom. Woo. Come on, somebody. Second thing, kingdom perspective, we need kingdom purpose. Kingdom purpose. Purpose means the reason for which something exists. You got to have a kingdom purpose. What's your reason the, for, for, for which something exists or is done or is made? That's what purpose means. Luke 19 and 10. Let's go to Luke 19 and 10. Jesus says here, this is Jesus talking. For the son of man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. The son of man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. Look at Jesus's purpose. It is simple. It's not some five paragraphs. <laughs> it's one sentence. My purpose is to come to seek those who are lost and to save them. I'm searching for those who are lost, who don't know which way to go. That's what Jesus says. That's my purpose. That's my reason that God has sent me to this earth to seek and to save. Let me ask you something today. What's your purpose? What is the reason that you exist? Why have you been put on this earth? That's why we seek God's kingdom first. We get God's perspective first. We go to God first. Seek God first. First, God, you put me on this earth for a reason, for a purpose. I need to know my purpose, my, my, my reason that you have me here. God, okay, it's to worship you. I'm going to give you first worship. I'm going to worship you first. If nothing else, if you don't know nothing else, give God worship. You don't know, well, I, I, I really don't know what to do. Then worship God. Worship him. Worship him. That means give him your heart. Give him your life. God, I worship you. I worship you in spirit and in truth. I, 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 I give you everything, every part of me, God. And as you begin to worship God, God will reveal to you your purpose. Your specific purpose. Not your, not your job, but your purpose. Ah, oh, come on, somebody. Not your job, because you're working a job, but that doesn't mean it's your purpose. You're getting paid nine to five and that's your job. That's your, you know, but that might not be the purpose that God has sent you to this earth for. What is your purpose? Not just your job. What is your purpose? Somebody getting this? What's your purpose today? If I were to ask you uh, to write into the chat, what's your purpose? What would you say is your purpose? I had to, I had to do this in, in a class that I'm taking. And, and ask us to, to write down what our purpose was. Do you know I struggled? I, I was going to write, well, I'm a pastor, but that's not my purpose. Is that my purpose? Hmm. All these titles, but it, what's my purpose? What's my purpose, Lord? 
So I was praying to, I was praying and, 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 and a few things dropped in my spirit. And so then I asked some people, asked different ones and said, well, how have I impacted your life? How I, have I influenced your life? And they said different things and, and everyone, and, and the Lord says, because you have been put on this earth, Lorraine, to positively impact and influence people by the wisdom of God. I know what my purpose is. See, not, not, well, that's right. That's your purpose. That's, that's all. God says you're here to influence and impact, influence and impact. I'm to influence people and impact. That's my purpose. It's how I do it is through uh, preaching and pastoring and, and coaching and counseling, being a chaplain and being on uh, and teaching. That's how I do it. And I do it in different ways, you know, and I've got to have the wisdom of God on me. But I need to know what is my purpose, not just my job. You need to know what is your purpose. God, why am I here? What is the kingdom purpose? purpose that you have me on this earth, God. God, why, 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 why am I born at such a time as this? Why wasn't I born 50 years ago? Why wasn't I born 70 years ago? Why am I born now, God? Why am I here now? What is your purpose? Come on, somebody. That's why we've got to seek God first. We got to seek the kingdom of God first to find out what is the kingdom way, what is our kingdom purpose. That's why many folks go through life discouraging and, and messed up and we come to church. And that's why we just think of church as just, you know, well, yeah, it's just, yeah, I'm just going to church. No, because see, when, when you tune in on Sundays to this, to, to this broadcast, to this, to this streaming live, when you tune in, you ought to be coming saying, okay, I'm coming for purpose. I'm coming so I can get focused. I'm coming so I can get something that's going to uh, lift me up, that God's going to speak to me through whoever's speaking. If it's passing the rain or somebody else, I'm going, I'm going to hear something that's going to speak to my heart because God is speaking. I'm going to check the word for myself because God is saying, I've got to, I've got to uh, work on my purpose. I've got to develop my purpose. I, I got to do that. So anytime I'm listening to sermons, anytime I'm listening to somebody, I know it's, it's, it's something for me to develop. Pastor Steve preached that New Year's Eve service about uh, return it. We're supposed to return it. I recognize that I need to return some things in order to help develop my purpose because I can't influence and impact if I'm holding on to stuff. If I got stuff that's weighing me down, I can't influence if, if, I'm, if, if, if I'm being impacted by my own stuff that's weighing me down. So God said, you need to return something. You need to return some lies. You need to return some grudges. Lorraine. You need to return some things you hold it on to. Return some attitudes. Return that stuff so that you can influence and impact people's lives. Oh, because cause, let me tell you something. I shared this last Wednesday because it's about our credibility. It's about our message more than the messenger. Did you hear that? So, so let me see if I got that right. No, I think I said it wrong. It's about, see, people are looking at who's delivering the message and they can't hear it. So it's about the messenger. I messed it up, messenger. Because if I lead a, a forgive this phraseology, jacked up life, you're not gonna hear my message. You're not gonna hear me influence. You're not gonna let me influence your life. You're not gonna let me impact your life if my life is jacked up, if my life is messed up. Come on, somebody. Y'all getting this today? So, so it, it, it speaks to, so God is saying, you got to return some things because I got to deal so that make sure you got to keep working on your purpose. And if you want to impact and influence lives, your credibility has got to be intact. Come on, somebody. Do you get that? So you got to know what is your kingdom purpose? When you tune in on Sundays, when you tune in, when you're listening, God, what are you saying to me? God, what are you speaking to my heart? God, this is about kingdom, it's about purpose. God, what's the kingdom way? What am I supposed to get? What am I need to get, God? Because you're, I'm developing purpose. I need to I need to get my purpose developed, God. I need to get stronger this way because I need to be productive this year, God. You want me to be productive this year. You want me to multiply this year, God. You want me to be fruitful this year, God. You want me to subdue this year. You want me to have dominion this year, God, because that's the kingdom way. That's the kingdom way. So, 
so every word that I'm hearing God what am I doing with this word how am I applying it to my life did I take the word that I got last week about seeking first did I apply it this week and did I seek you first Lord God what am I doing God with the word am I I don't want to just preach to you some word I want to apply it to my own life kingdom purpose folks do you have kingdom purpose purpose. You got to have kingdom perspective, kingdom purpose. Third thing, are y'all getting this? Let me know in the chat if you're getting this word this morning. Come on. Let me know if you're getting this word today. I might not see it all, but just let me know. Are you getting this word? Talk to me today. Come on. See, I, 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 I don't have that. The, the faces of people saying, amen, pastor, we getting it. Let me know. Are you getting this? Are you getting the kingdom way? That's why even, let, 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 me, let me go back to kingdom purpose. If you are married, what's the purpose? What's the, the vision for your marriage? What's the vision for your family? Even if you don't got children and you're married, what's the vision? What's the purpose for you all? Go, what, what's the purpose for y'all being married? Oh, well, we just, we just married, Pastor. See, see, people just want to get married just to get married. No. Without a vision, the people perish. Without a vision, you, you, without revelation, without purpose, you perish. You just cast off. You don't do anything. Okay? You, you don't get it right. You need purpose. What's your purpose? I, I challenge every married couple that is listening to me today. I challenge you to develop a vision statement for your marriage. I challenge you to get a purpose statement. What, what's the purpose for our marriage? Well, Pastor, we already been married 20 some years, 30 some years. If, if we ain't got no purpose now, it ain't too late now. No, no, no. It ain't too late. It's not too late. Still get one. Don't, don't stop now. Get up. What is the purpose? Because see, when you got purpose, when you got a vision, when the hard times come, when, when you, when it, it help you keep you on track, when you, oh, nope, nope, that's our purpose. Nope, that's our purpose. We say we about this. This is what we're about. This is our purpose. But if you don't got purpose, if you don't got vision for your marriage, if you, if you don't got something, when, when the hard times come, you ain't got a leg to stand on. Oh, come on, somebody. You need a vision. You need a purpose. What's the purpose for our marriage? What's the purpose of us getting married? Why do we get married in the first place? I could name some things, but I ain't got time. I'll get off. I won't get too far off subject. But what's the purpose? Why did God intend for me to marry you and you to marry me? What's the purpose? Why, why God, what's our purpose? Whether we got children or not, what is the purpose? of us being together, God. What do you want us to accomplish as two people operating as one? The two shall become one. So what's the purpose for us two being one? What's the purpose? Did y'all get that? Those married folks, so I challenge, you know, we, everybody's putting out these challenges. I challenge every married, every married couple here today that's hearing this, that's watching this today to, to talk with your spouse. What's our purpose? Do we got a vision for our marriage? If you don't have one, work on getting one. If you need help, I'll help you. <laughs> But you can do it yourself. Just talk about it. Say, what's our values? What do we value? God, what to pray about? That's all you got to do. I don't need, need to help you. And then come together and, and come up with a statement. What's the purpose? And if you got children, what's the purpose for our family? So that your children see, this is the purpose for our family. Wow. We got, we got purpose. We're not just a family just to be. No, we, we got purpose. I hope somebody's hearing this today. I hope somebody's hearing this. If you're, if you're a single parent, you need to have purpose for your home. What's your purpose? So that you don't let anybody and everybody in your house to, to come and bring stuff. No, what's the purpose for our house? Because it's our purpose. God, we got kingdom purpose in this house. We might be a single family household, but we got kingdom purpose walking up in, in these floors of this house. We, we got kingdom purpose in, in, the, in the rooms of this house. There's kingdom purpose going on. And everybody knows. Oh, oh nope, that's the purpose of this house. That's the purpose of, yep, yep, that's what I, that's what our house is all about. That's why this house is together. 
Come on, somebody. If you're single, what's your purpose? Write it up somewhere. Put it somewhere. This is the purpose. This is the purpose. This is my purpose that God put me here on this earth. Well, I spend, I'm spending too long on this one. <laughs> But I need you to get this one because this is key. This is key. This is key. Purpose. My last point. Got to have kingdom perspective, kingdom purpose, kingdom principles. Kingdom principles. Principles are accepted or profess rule of action or rule of conduct. How are we to conduct ourselves? See, perspective is the view we have. Now, the principles, uh, 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 it's how we, it's the rule of action. Okay, it's the rule of conduct. What's your rule of conduct? Let, let, let me just give you some, this is very simple. Mark chapter 12, Mark chapter 12, verse 29. I'm almost done here. Mark chapter 12, verse 29. It says, and Jesus answered him. and said, the first of all the commandments is, hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is principle. This is, this is how you should supposed to conduct yourself. Where you loving God. Okay, we're seeking the kingdom of God first. Love God with all your heart, with all your soul. That's all your emotions, your, uh, uh, everything that's in, in, in your innermost being, with all your mind your intellect, with all your strength. This is the first commandment. It's the first thing you ought to do. Seek God first. Love God, all right? Second thing he says, and the second, like it, is this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Woo. There is no other commandment greater than these. There's no other principles greater than these. None. Let me give you one other. Luke chapter 6, 31. Luke 6, 31, before I break those down. Luke 6, 31, because this goes along with the, with the um, verse 31. Do to others as you would have them do to you. Wow. Do unto others as you would have them do to you. Man, that's loving your neighbor as yourself. I'm going to treat people like I want to be treated. N let me say that again. I'm going to treat people like I want to be treated. I'm going to do it unto others like I want others to do unto me. Jesus says, look, these are the principles. These are the rule of conduct. This is how you ought to conduct yourself. This is how you ought to act. You ought to love God, love God, love God, love God. God ought to be first. In everything that you do. That's why we gave you last week. Seek first. Seek first what? Seek God first. All right? God ought to be first. Love God with all of your heart. Remember? We said, how do we seek God first? With all of our hearts. With all of our hearts. So it's a heart thing. God, I'm seeking for you. I'm loving you with all of my heart. All of my emotions, God. Everything I've got. All of my, all of my soul. Everything that's wrapped up inside of me, God. I'm loving you with all that is me. All of me, God loves all of you. All of me. All of me, God. My, my imperfections, my weaknesses, God. My flaws, my strengths, my, I, 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 the greatest things about me, God loves all of you. All of me. All, that's, that makes up all of you. Your heart, your soul, your mind, your strength. Love God with all of it. Give God all of your strength. Give God all of your might. Give, give God all of your mind. Love God with all of your mind, your intellect. Don't just give God and say, well, God, I, you know, I'm just going, I'm just going to, to, to church and I, I don't need to read my Bible. No, I don't need to read my word. I just let Pastor Rain preach and say whatever she wants to say. No, I'm going to get in my word because God, I'm going to love you with my mind. I'm going to question the scriptures. I'm going to ask questions of the scripture because I'm loving you with all of my mind. I'm loving you with all of my mind. See, sometimes we just think God is, loving God is, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. No, no, yeah, that's nice too. That's, that, yeah, that's, that's showing God your worship and everything. But loving God with, 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 your, with your mind, with your, with your intellect. 
When you when you're in school and and you're opening your mind to, to the books and 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 you're reading and you're studying and you're taking it in and you're being the best that you can be. You're loving God with all of your mind because God gave you that mind and He's saying use that mind. Don't waste it. Use that mind. When you when you learn new things and God says, oh, I love that they're learning something new. You think God doesn't like it when we learn something new? God goes, oh wow, they're getting it. They're learning something new. They're taking. They're learning wisdom. They're, they're learning knowledge and they're applying the knowledge. Oh man, look at what they're doing. They're loving me with all of their hearts, all of their mind, all of their soul, all of their strength. They're loving me. They're loving me. They're loving me. They're, 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 they're loving me. We, we, we give God all of our strength, all of our ability to praise him. It's not just jumping around in church and saying, oh God, I love you with all of my strength, jumping around. No, it's loving God to get up and do for somebody else. Just like I told you this morning, right in the chat, I'm going to encourage myself as I encourage somebody else. It's doing unto somebody else with all of my strength, with the ability that God has given you. Come on, somebody. Then love your neighbor as yourself. Do unto others as you would have them do to you. Think about that. Because that's, that's kingdom principles. How are we supposed to conduct ourselves in the kingdom? We shouldn't be abusing other people. Abuse does not belong in the kingdom. Let me say that again. Abuse does not belong in the kingdom. Verbal abuse, financial abuse, emotional abuse, physical abuse, sexual abuse, I don't care whatever type of abuse, it is not the kingdom way. It is not kingdom principles. You're supposed to love your neighbor as you love yourself. Do unto others as you would have them do to you. That's not a part of the kingdom. So if anybody's watching this, listening to this, and you're in an abusive situation, get some help. That's not kingdom. And if you're the person abusing, I'm here to tell you that is not the kingdom way. Oh, Jesus, Holy Ghost. And say, God, help me. I need help. Have mercy on me. Forgive me. I give you my strength, my heart, my mind. Lord, let me get to the root of why I've been abusive. If I got to go get counseling, let me get counseling. Because uh, being abusive, being verbally abusive, being emotionally abusive, being uh, 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 physically, sexually abusive is not the kingdom way. Glory to God. We don't usually preach like that. We don't usually say those kinds of things like, oh, well, you must have did something. No, stop it, stop it, stop it. We need to say this. We need to say it loud and clear. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. There's no other commandment. Do unto others as you would have them do to you. I told you this was going to be simple. It's going to be simple word. Kingdom principles. Are we conducting ourselves where we are loving God with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength, and we are loving our neighbor as ourselves? Are we conducting ourselves like that, folks? That's the kingdom way. I know you want something deep and something, more. Well, well, Pastor, I'm, no, that, that's king. Love, do unto others as you would have them do to you. You need to write that. Some of us need to write that in our homes. <laughs> Come on. Let's be honest. How we treat one another. How we talk to one another. I'm working on it too. God is working on me. That's why I said I got to, I got to return some old stuff. Because God is saying, do unto others, the rain, as you would have them do unto you. Are y'all hearing this word today? But see, it says, love your neighbors, you love yourself. Many of us can't love our neighbors because we don't love ourselves. And so we need God help us there, right there, because the kingdom way is to love yourself. The kingdom principle uh, here is you got to love yourself. You got to love yourself. Ah, you got to love this. You got to love yourself. Somebody say, I need to love myself. It's not walking in pride to love yourself. See, the Lord, Jesus said, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Love yourself. Come on, love yourself. 
Love yourself. Stop cheating yourself like dirt. Love yourself. You're worthy to be loved. Love yourself. But you got to love yourself first. Love yourself. Come on, somebody. Write it in the chat. I will love myself. Come on. I know that seems stupid. It's not. Love yourself because many people, there are many people in church, many people in this world who do not love themselves. Come on, right there. I will love myself. Love myself. See, that's why you got to love God first. So God opened my heart to loving myself. God helped me to love myself. Because as I love myself, then I will treat that other person like I want to be treated because I know how I want to be treated and because I love myself. And because I know I'm worthy of love, I, I'm valuable, right? I'm worthy of love. You're worthy of love. You're valuable. And you need to be treated or valuable. You need to be treated like you're valuable, okay? So that you're worthy of love. Oh, glory to God. I'm going to love myself. I'm going to love myself. I'm going to love myself. I'm going to love myself with God's help. I'm going to love myself. So I'm going to love myself so I can love others. I'm going to love myself. See, you can't love others. You can't love others. You can't even love your spouse until you love yourself. It's the word. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. And that's why you still got issues in your marriage because you're still working on loving yourself. You're still working out some of the stuff in you. And that's why you still got issues because you're working out your stuff. You're working out your stuff. You're working on your stuff. Love yourself. God, help me to love myself. Come on, I'm preaching to somebody today. I'm preaching. Who am I preaching to? God, help me to love myself. Help me. Help us to love ourselves, God. I preach this. I speak to us today in 2021 that, Lord, this is what you want us to produce. This is how you want us to be productive and multiply. You want to teach us how to love ourselves, God. It's not talking about being pride but that we love ourselves, that we look upon ourselves as valuable. We love our mind. We love our heart. We love our strength. We love our bodies. We love our, we love every part of us. Love ourselves so that I can love somebody else. That's kingdom way. That's the kingdom way. That's the word today. Kingdom perspective, my view and our outlook kingdom purpose, the reason that I exist and the kingdom principles, my rule of action, my rule of conduct is to love God. Next week, I'm going to pick it up with part two of the kingdom way and I'm going to get into righteousness and break down because in this, our main scripture, seek first the kingdom of God. This is what we're seeking. When we seek first the kingdom of God, we're seeking first the kingdom perspective, the kingdom purpose, and the kingdom principles, the kingdom way. When we seek first the kingdom of God, we're seeking first the kingdom way. And, because we don't usually talk about, and his righteousness. And I will deal with the and his righteousness on next week. But we will seek first the kingdom of God, the kingdom way. All right. If you receive this word, Write in the chat what you received from this word today. Wherever you're watching from, what, what did you take away from this word today? As I'm going to bless you today, I'm going to say a prayer. Father, I thank you for your word today. I thank you for the kingdom way. And I pray, Lord God, that as we seek you first, God, as we seek uh, the kingdom of God first, as we seek the kingdom perspectives, as we seek your kingdom purpose, as we seek kingdom principles, Lord, which is the kingdom way, God. That God, that you would add, you said in your word, that we seek your kingdom first, that you would add all these other things that we're worried about, you would add it to us, God. We don't have to worry about some things when we got the kingdom way is the first thing, when we're seeking you first. So I pray today, Lord God, I bless your people today. I bless them. Lord, that their hearts would be open to love you with all their hearts, all of their mind, their soul, and their strength, God, and that they would love themselves. God, they would love their neighbor as they love themselves, and that they would do unto others, Lord God, as they would want someone to do unto them. So I thank you for your word. I pray it fall on good ground, and it would accomplish everything that you have sent it to accomplish in Jesus' name. Amen.
Amen. Amen. Even at this time, I thank you for being here today. Um, they're going to give you the announcements for this week. I want you, Evan, as they are giving the announcements, come on, write in the chat, share with us today what you're taking away from this word today. we we'll pray that you got, what's the one thing that you've taken away from this word today as they even give us the announcements Giving is a part of worship, and there are five ways to give to Kingdom Empowerment Center. One, download the Give Plus app. Two, text to give 617-934-6568. 617-934-6568. Three, go to our website, www.kecmass.org. Backslash donate, donate now. Four, PayPal donations at kecmass.org. Five, mail a check to Kingdom Empowerment Center, 211 Columbia Street, Cambridge, Mass, 02139. Thank you. The announcements for this week are as follows. Join us Tuesday morning at 6 a.m. on the conference line, 605-475-4800, access code 666-6307-POUND. 605-475-4800, access code 666-6307-POUND. Wednesday, we'll be on Zoom at noon for prayer and again at 8 p.m. for Bible study. Honor Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s life and work by joining with others to serve and to learn how you can help create an equitable community that brings us closer to radical justice and equality. Join together with others in our community for virtual hands-on service projects on MLK Day and a week of radical and social justice conversations focused on Reverend Martin Luther King Jr.'s work, legacy, and continuing power to challenge and inspire us. You can also lead neighborhood food banks, book or clothing drives. Details are described on the Many Helping Hands 365 website. You can also register there for the 2021 MLK Week of Service. You are cordially invited to join the UPCAG for an international prayer service via Zoom on Monday, January 18th at 7 p.m. This will be a time for the entire council to come together virtually and blend our voices in fervent prayer. Log on early to secure your space as we expect hundreds to participate. Please see the KEC website for more information. KEC will be fasting and praying January 25th through the 31st. It will be a liquid fast each day until 3 p.m. During the week, we will have prayer at 6 a.m. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Wednesday evenings at 8 p.m. and midnight prayer on Friday. We will be reading the book, Rediscovering the Kingdom by Miles Monroe. You can secure a copy online at Amazon or Barnes and Nobles. We will begin reading this book in February and we will discuss it on our Wednesday night calls. Those are the announcements. Have a blessed week. Amen, thank you. As even they announced, we're gonna be uh, reading a book together. Uh, Rediscovering the Kingdom by Miles Monroe. So asking folks to purchase it, you can get it. I know some people say, I think they can find it at Target. You can find it at uh, Target, Walmart, um, Amazon. Um, look for it. Uh, if you wanna, they even have an audio of it. Um, so we wanna start it during our fast next week. We wanna start it during our fast next week. So look to get it. Um, if you need help uh, getting it, ask some other people but uh, it's called Rediscovering the Kingdom, Rediscovering the Kingdom. Um, so we're going to want, we want to read that together. We're going to be doing, once we start, uh, probably start that in February, where we'll start it, reading it next week during our fast. But then in February, the first Wednesday in February, we'll start doing a study discussion on it. Every Wednesday, we'll be having a study on Rediscovering the Kingdom. Because all this year, I told you we're going to be doing Kingdom. It's Kingdom First this year. Uh, so we thank you all for being with us today. Pray that you were blessed by the word, that you receive something um, from this word, that it's the kingdom way, the kingdom way, that you would seek first 
the kingdom, the kingdom of God uh, and his righteousness. All right, so we thank you, Facebook, for being with us. God bless you. Tune in next week, Facebook. God bless you, Facebook. God bless you.